we've got a Vauxhall Elantra 2 litre uh, CDTI I think it is uh, 2007 and uh, it's it's got a turbo issue uh, guy's been told it's a the turbo or that's what he's expecting uh, so he asked me to have a quick look just to make sure so we have got engine management light on and we have got the little there was um, a little spanner with a car down there as well and the fault code we got is P0105 pressure sensor circuit low input hmm don't know if that makes sense to a turbo I don't so obviously ignition's on and everything but this and it's saying it's intermittent so uh, let's have a look at the diagnostic list and let's have a little look um, mass airflow um, intake um, what else is there we got our oh, boost pressure sensor no oh. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have a calculated airflow, which we're just going to be looking at the, the turbo. Mass airflow, intake air temp, which is actually fitted to the actual uh, the boost pressure sensor. Boost pressure, boost pressure, volts, and the amount of um, uh, the pressure is actually feeling. So and that's what it's meant to be reading these two here but we don't seem to be reading that do we so let's let's start her up and have a quick look see what we got um, nothing's there right so I've got boost pressure nothing boost pressure six volts well, that doesn't seem right to me and there we have, we've got the, the light on the dash there with the spanner. Let's give it a rev. Well, the command is telling me that should be working. Let's just see what we got here. So we got air mass. Let's just see what happens here. Right, so it looks like the turbo is working. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the actual boost pressure sensor map sensor whatever it's called and see what the problem is and uh, see if we can fix it for this guy he might be happy if it's just a map sensor but let's have a look first before we start to guess okay now what we're going to do is we're going to check uh, the powers here and we're going to see if the actual uh, ECU is sending any powers out. Um, ignition is on. There's our um, diagram. Five volts coming in. And we've got um, earth there. Uh, this one here is sending the signal for what the boost sensor is actually saying. And this one here is the temp sensor but I've got a problem with the temp sensor temp sensor is fine for the intake so let's see what power we actually get coming from the ECU okay so we're going into one and three which is there and as you can see I've got 4.971 so that's telling me that the actual circuitry is fine but we're going to test that and uh, and make sure all right okay we're going to test um, terminal 3 which is the 5 volt feed just to make sure that it's it's good so I've put my test light in there and as you can see that's slightly dim but what you've got to think about is is this is only 5 volts so it's not going to be bright and it is showing it's got a current so it's showing there's no broken wire ECU is sending 5 volts and the multimeter uh, told us that so at least now we've tested the 5 volt feed now let's check the earth okay so we're on the actual positive and we're checking if it's got an earth uh, feed to the actual sensor and as you can see that one's slightly brighter so that must be sending a good current okay so what we're going to do is we're going to test the wiring 
all the way back to the ECU and what we're also going to do is we're going to see if the ECU can actually see what the map sensor would be actually sending if you remember rightly our boost pressure voltage I'll tell you what let's put that on graph no I don't like the graph on here so uh, where is it so you've got boost pressure volts which is on zero so what we're going to do is I've got it uh, the red one make sure it ain't going to touch anything but I've got the red one uh, that's going to go into the 5 volt supply and the white one is going back to the ECU to give the actual reference of the 5 volts to tell it if it's actually seeing anything at all so what I've got is I've got this Gunson sensor which I've got it set on 5 volts I've got it set on 0 and that's because that's all it's looking at it's just looking at voltage from it should start at 1.5 and then it should go all the way up to, well, I don't know, 4 volts, 3 volts, which tells you how much pressure is being sent from the map sensor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this, and you can watch the voltage. See the volts? Yeah, there it is. And here we go. Turning it. There we go. And there it's... So that's telling me, whatever that sensor is actually telling the ECU the wiring can actually tell it as you can see now I've got it on five was it four four volts so can't be that can it because obviously the wiring and the actual ECU can see what's going on oh well at least we know it so we ain't going to be changing an ECU or any of the wiring or looking for a broken wire or anything like that but we've thoroughly tested it now and now we know right I thought that would help uh, and then eventually we'll uh, get to the the answer won't we okay we're going to test the map sensor um, this is my drawing so we've got five volts going in we've got an earth then we've got this one here is the actual pressure sensor and this one here is the intake air temp sensor so we're not worried about that one because it hasn't come up with a fault code for that so I've got one of them plugged into number one and one into one number four so I'll just put these on here and we're running 49 50 milliohms so to be honest I don't think that's a problem uh, so what we're going to have to do is uh, check something else I mean it it might be the, te uh, the actual pressure sensor but at the moment I don't think so I really don't think so um, but you never know it's a car in it okay right let, let, let me move on and check the next not bad okay so I've plugged into the actual back of the boost sensor and I'm on the, uh, the power supply and the um, uh, and the signal to ECU and as you can see I'm running probably around about 80 millivolts which ain't much cop so would that be a uh, are, um, uh, the sensors at it but this is what I did find now watch me move and I'm wriggling let's just bring that down and I'm wriggling I'm wriggling that's right DC let's put five volts okay right and I'm running at 1.6 now and this is what's happening if you wriggle the the sensor and that's all I'm doing is the terminals see and then the terminal goes dead and if I lift it up or push it down now 
push it down and then the terminals connect so I think I found my problem here's the terminals to the actual um, to the map sensor and there it goes it's dead again new terminals and uh, a new connector required I think don't need a sensor does it don't need a turbo either right I thought I'd show you that one before I re um, replace the terminals and I'll, I'll do that while I'm here anyhow okay before we start doing any terminal changes and change the um, the connector first thing I do with my old memory which ain't that good I take a picture of the wiring so when I take it out I can put it back in the right place so that's what I'm going to do so I've got a picture so now I know how it actually fits let's start taking it apart okay so what we're going to do is we're going to replace the terminals and this connector cut it out put new ones in Bob's your uncle so what we've got is I've got a set of um, side cutters um, they're in there somewhere has to be the last one I'm going to go for in it yeah, there she is uh, wire snicker cutters uh, and this is my terminals and this is the new terminals we're going to put in so I'm not going to um, do this slowly what you're going to see now is it's going to speed up because I've done loads of connectors BMWs, Vauxhalls, all sorts, Volvos and I've already done a load of videos so all I'm doing is really just showing that I'm doing this to this job so that's all that's going to happen so watch how quick we do this like to give them a bit of solder at the end there it just makes sure that I've got a good connection on every single one of the ones I've soldered up as you can see they're beautifully done okay important bit yeah you're right I've got to go and put the kettle on and then we're gonna put these back in the right place right see you in a minute okay so remember the importance of me taking the picture well there's my camera and now we're going to have to put these in the right place so got my cup of tea I'll tell you what I needed that right so and then we're going to put these in the right place and then we're going to do some uh, final check-in and making sure we got the test drive so this is the, the new connector so Oh, I wish it wouldn't keep shutting down. Right, so the first one is a black and white one. Here it is, black and white. As long as they go flat, it doesn't matter. So. As you can see they're all pushed in there now make sure you give them a quick tug make sure that there's uh, they're not going to come out or anything right I'm just going to tidy this up plug it in and then we're going to do some testing to make sure that I've solved the problem okay the proofs in the pudding I'm just about to clear the coats um, we don't want those yes 
Um, okay, read fault code. Now I've got no codes. Now that was a hard code that was actually present all the time. But also, let's go and have a look in data because that was our, our biggest issue, wasn't it? And we wanted to know about uh, boost pressure, boost, and boost command will do. Okay, let's have a little look. And as you can see, I've got 1.6 volts, 90.4. And I've got a boost pressure at 98.4 as well. So if you remember rightly, I had zero, zero. So these two are exactly right. Give it a quick wriggle. And as you can see, if we had a problem, it's only because the um, the wires in there. But that's that's got nothing to worry about. Right. It's when it starts dropping down to zero we got to worry about it. Right, let's see if we can... Um, uh, let's put this on graph. And then what we're looking at is volts, okay? And I'm going to start it up. Hold on. And there we go. So we're on 1.6 volts. Bruce pressure commands 98, so it's all correct. Obviously, this is when it was starting up. And if we just give it a little boost, and as you can see, the volts are going up with my boost. The command's saying, look, go. And it's gone up to 180, which is great. So again, and as you can see, these two here are going up exactly the same time and obviously the harder I push the more volts I get so I'm going to put that down as a fix um, so it didn't really need a turbo did it the guy was a little bit a little bit worried because uh, that's what he thought it was was a turbo well that's what he'd been told by two garages it needed two tur it needed a turbo so uh, this is going to put a smile on his face and all it needed was a connector um, yeah good find really uh, sorted the problem out uh, engine management lights are out I will go and give it a run but as I say I've done the wriggle test and the wriggle test has proved it I've got me voltage it's not going anywhere so if you want to watch any more I've got another one coming out as well which is a good one um, an alternator can't find it anywhere so we're going to repair it anyway if you want to uh, follow us down the road a bit more and subscribe and see what this for Wally's going to be getting up to next more the merrier uh, so I'll, as I say thanks for watching and Hopefully you, you learn something by, by testing stuff instead of chucking stuff on that might not be needed. Anyway, cheers.